spend today my 17 year wedding anniversary at the temple. I don't have to think about weddings. I don't have to think about brides and my wedding necessarily, but I can think about the first time I went through the temple and the fact, and I love this, the fact that I went to the temple before I served a mission, not before I got married. I encourage Not because you're getting, not just because you're getting married. It just makes it a little bit more meaningful. It makes it more intimate for you, in my opinion. So, started with donating plasma, doing some service, service for the living. Now I'm gonna do some service for the dead. I'm gonna drive Adana around with some friends for the service for my family, and then service for myself tonight with some girlfriends. Oh, still cold. Here for a girls night out at the Rio <coughs> India's Jam. Okay, you ready Kenya? What do you want? I know what you want. Quesadilla! She wants a quesadilla, but she loves the salad. No, salad. Yes, yeah, see the salad. I'm gonna get, salad yes I know. I'm gonna get the soup. My go-to. You got it on your coat. Is that good Kenya? Yeah. Oh, did you bite your tongue? Did you bite your cheek? <laughs> That's because they're my little chipmunk cheeks. <laughs> oh wait, hi guys! We're going to Swig and it's Ava's birthday and we plan a little surprise party for her. I'll show you when we surprised her. It wasn't very good, but it's okay, it still worked. But yeah, we're going to Swig. I love this car. But sometimes I am used for it. <laughs> Wait, see how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Careful, there's five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And I got some room for four more, baby. So cool. They're going to swig. Okay, we got our swig and now we're piling out. Yeah, I need some too. Boom! Thank you so much. Yeah! Thank you so much. Don't slip this time, guys. Is this your vlogging camera? Hello. Annie! Yes, Annie! You absolutely slay. Boom. Okay, thanks for taking us, Mom. There you go. Alright, it's finally time. The reserve day is really so. I I got rid of, I got rid of all those girls. So like cow, those like little parasites infiltrating the car, and I am here at the chocolate with two of my favorite women. So just gotta figure out where we're gonna sit. I know, but the beans and all the. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, it smells so. Just closing out the night. Um, we didn't get to do much as a family because everybody was gone today, but I did have these little cute little notebooks and I wrote them little, little cards just to tell them that I love them. I don't say it enough, that's for sure. She makes up her own stories. I love it while she's reading. You're just so good. <laughs> we got a whiteout. Hi. 
It is flipping cold. What do you guys think? I'm rocking the middle part and I feel really weird about it. Do I look more of a millennial? More like one? <laughs> I can't get used to it. <laughs> I'm a side parter, okay? Today is kind of a special day at church because, oh, stop it. Step out of it. They go to their, Mouth. They go to their new classes, new teachers, like, uh, I don't know if Sanders has changed much, but India gets to go into Young Women's, Sanders in here, I'm going to go check India and Young Women's, Kenya moves up to a bigger class, Nico moves up to a bigger class, and um, Naoma stays with the nursery, which is actually great. Hi. Oh, there she is. Hello. Oh, there she is. It's Sunday school this week, though, so she's not in Young Women's quite yet. You guys, I just ditched Sunday school to take advantage of this hour. I don't usually do that, but um, I wanted to get an episode in on the podcast before um, it gets too crazy at home um so you're gonna have sunday school with me i'm gonna show you kind of the system i set in place to do a podcast my face is kind of shiny i should probably put some some blush on my face or something i'm putting the phone right now in the tripod here's the setup kind of so i've got my light right there i've got my little stool i'm in the closet Okay, so, oh, sorry, that's really close. I set my microphone right here on the stool. And then I get my computer hooked into the microphone. So I'm just gonna set this right here. So the phone is now lined up with the microphone. Oh crap, I gotta go get my other little mic. Um, so I gotta take I mean, I have an adapter that goes to the microphone cord that this will now plug into the computer. And then I open up GarageBand and that is where I do the editing on the podcast. And like, this is all so brand new for me. I don't know what I'm doing, but like I never do. And it just evolves from there and gets better and better. Hopefully as I go, I need to stop picking at my face because then it won't be so distracting. <laughs> So here I am in GarageBand, still learning. Um, got some notes right here. And uh, this is this is how I do it. So I just kind of talk for a good 20 minutes on whatever the topic is and edit later. Good evening, everyone. It is about 8.40 on Sunday night. This is like my ritual. I sit in front of a heater He's at my feet. Usually it's Mabel licking my feet. We've got girls showering. Everybody else is in bed. And we're reading. And this is my favorite time of night. As it is probably for all moms because we finally get to decompress. I write my to-do list. Sometimes I write like the menu, which is rare, but man, it's helpful for me to prepare um, if I like know what I'm gonna be making for dinner. And then I kind of, it's like micro goals. I kind of write goals of what I want to do um, for this week. And then I look at the calendar and see what I have to do, who I have to pick up, what carpools I have, what appointments I have. Um, so tonight I will upload the vlog and I will also upload a podcast. Um, I will do my Instagram post, I'll read my scriptures. I'm really trying to put in a focused effort onto the Book of Mormon. Um, ouch. Oh, you guys, my bunion hurts so bad. I showed you my bunion right here. Can you tell? I need some um, nail polish, but it's not that bad, but it hurts. Let me turn it around. There. That hurts me, guys. See how it juts out more than the other one? Look at that. It hurts. My neuroma 
is right here. It's like a little tumor that's inside. So they cut through here, open it up and snip the, the, the mass out. So it causes pinched nerves in here, which makes these two toes go numb. But that hurts. Look at it. Uh, gosh. Anyway, moving on from bunions. I was so um, touched last night after going to get a treat with my two girlfriends. I've been saying things in therapy like, I am no better off this year than I was last year. And they're all so good. I, I talked to several therapists and counselors and life coaches and they all say, yes, you are. Look where you've come with this and look what you've done with this. And I mean, it's like sucks that I have to hear it from other people. And I know that we all do that, but my two friends wrote a list of things that they had seen in me in ways that I had grown. They like listed my growth and I was so touched by the fact that they sat on the phone together and wrote up this list of my life and the things that they believed that I had grown with or had done or had accomplished. Do you want me to read you the list? Is that embarrassing? Let me grab it. It says how Julie has grown since January 6th, 2023, <laughs> which is so sweet. All kids are out of diapers. I didn't even think about these things, okay? My hand is better. Most of my mobility is back. I went to Shield Maiden Warrior in Florida. I created Gritty Mamas, started a podcast. I've grown the YouTube page. Um, Xander went to nationals. I got a new haircut fresh new look. I got all eight kids into school at least for uh, a couple of hours a week. A few hours to myself. A kidney stone that I passed peacefully. <laughs> Amazing skin and deal with Dr. Cope. However, I'm botching that right now because I'm picking at it. Um, I got a dan all my kids into therapy and they know they're loved. I kept my fitness, fitness going. I wrote another book. I wrote a song. I have taken the kids to St. George and Bear Lake and manhandled Christmas. I redid the bathroom. I mean, kind of, it was Kim with Mama Can Build It, but it got done. No more cribs. I have reorganized the house. I have taught the kids the gospel. I mean, the best that I can. <laughs> Um, I got rid of a lot of things in the house that I didn't need anymore. Um, I've grown the garden and kept the yard up the best that I can and trained another puppy. So I like wanted to get emotional because I was like, I have to hear it from friends. I have to hear from other people, the things that I've accomplished. Like, why can't we see these things in ourselves? And I'm going to start adding to this list. Like I got a new roof. I got four new tires. I kind of want to write down a list of things that I paid for, you know, and accomplished. So anyway, she's, she's playing. Oh, and there we go. She's showing her dominance right here. <laughs> I get crap every time I, I post the dog screen that, and I find it hilarious. Anyway, that is it for tonight, everybody. It's a new week, a very cold week, and this week is the Polar Plunge. Next Saturday, if you're local in Harriman at the Black Ridge Reservoir, um, it's at three o'clock and you have to commit. If you're coming, you commit, you go all in and you submerge, like immerse yourself fully into the water. It's only gonna be for two seconds then everybody's gonna race out, but it is going to be a blast. And it's gonna be real cold. But anyway, I should probably go celebrate with them after and go get some ice cream because we just got iced. But um, looking forward to that this week. 
joining Harmony again this week, Tuesday night. Looking really forward to that. Love singing with them. And that's it. That's all I got. Oh, we're out.